Saturday morning series Bible Man, which mm -hmm. I'm surely you've all seen it on the Trinity Broadcasting Network, right? Really? Bible Man's huge. Great drinking game. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, if you're a <laughs> fan like of the Survivor series, Man? you hear a verse and you just get it down, actually. <laughs> uh, now, if you're a fan of the series, you're going to be a fan of the game. And actually, even if you're not a fan of the series, you'll be a fan of this game no matter what. Watch. Imagine an animated world where there is no God or no faith. Where the arch villain wacky protester can trap you there forever. Now you have the power to help Bible Man, Cypher, and Bible Girl in this new interactive video game. A fight for faith through educational Bible scripture and exciting battle sequences. You help defeat evil. The full armor of God. Never leave home without it. A fight for faith. The video game. Now, okay, the game, the game is only available for PC, but on the website. Covenant Studio says it's negotiating to get Bible Man on the Game Boy Advance, DS, and as well as the PS2, so wow. good luck with that, guys. Jack calls shenanigans on the PS2 part. You need the power of the cell processor for a game like Bible Man. Definitely. You need Blu-ray. All right, then PS3, maybe. Maybe it's a typo. It can happen. All right, coming in at number four is the beautiful Katamari demo that was released onto Xbox Live this morning. Yeah, if you're still trying to download that little Bioshock thing, just yeah. stop. Give it a rest. <laughs> download this game instead, because this uh, it's an updated next-gen version it's got catchy tunes and, of course, an overload of gorgeously high-def and adorable graphics. Aww. The gameplay is essentially the same. You, you roll your little Katamari around, you pick up everything in sight, but look at the rock-solid frame rate, look at the visuals, the yeah. colors pop, and it's also kind of funny. I mean, the king of the cosmos actually makes fun of the fact that you're playing a demo, <laughs> which is always cute. But it's like, it's, it's Katamari. Who, who doesn't love it? And the final release of Beautiful Katamari features online play leaderboards and, of course, Achievement points. It's an Xbox 360 exclusive, and it'll be out this fall. Can't a lot wait. of good ones for the Xbox. Too many good games coming out this fall. For the fall. 360. Yeah, especially for the 360. Yeah, September's a big month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, in at number three today is our continuing coverage of just how crazy Japan is. That's right. Now, this week, Japan is in the middle of the Obon holiday, and a lot of people are just kicking back and relaxing in the pool. But at the wave pool in the popular Jeez. water park, Tokyo Summerland, which is where I used to go, Things don't look too relaxing. Now, you can't tell. Was it like actually, that when you went there? No, that, that's a wave pool, and you can't even see the water. Just people moving in it. Yeah, it's crazy. it looks like a disaster. Summerland movie. has always been really popular and crowded, but never like that. Well, and I if you look there. closely, you can see at least two dozen children drowning right now, trying, grasping for uh, an amazing. inner tube, now, trying to get some air. But I do have to say this: having lived in Japan, I, I do know this firsthand that kids learn at a very young age that dying in an overcrowded wave pool is a very honorable oh, death. Oh, like suicide or. Autoerotic asphyxiation? Exactly okay, like that. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I love Japan. Coming in at number two, solid evidence that some of Man vs. Wild, the show that Olivia loves, and lo that Olivia says is totally real, it's fake. Um, so I've been reading articles lately, and I've been avoiding this mm -hmm. and ignoring it. Denial. But apparently you, wanna, you guys want to put it on the show that I host, so now I have to face it. Okay, Man vs. Wild is a survival television series hosted by my best friend, Bear Grylls, mm -hmm. and the premise of the show is that He's dropped off in the middle of nowhere and must survive the elements hundreds and thousands of miles away from any sign of civilization. Hmm. However, a local hiker recognized hmm. where Bear was hiking and created this mashup of the real locations used in the show. Just take a look. 
these lava bridges that cross them over, but you've got to be really, really careful crossing these. Yeah, you got to be really, really careful. Look at that. Yeah, look at that concern. It's actually right off a, a highway on the big island of Hawaii near the uh, Kilauea volcano. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Be real careful so you don't, what, rile up the Ford Focus that's parked on the highway. Like, what's that? <laughs> look, there's a Prius. Try not to make any sudden movements. I am really bummed by that. It's sad. Apparently, though, it's also rumored that Bear sleeps in hotels when shooting, and he's not roughing it like the show portrayals. I mean, sometimes you get him, he's got his camera laid on, he's like, that was the worst night's sleep of my life. Right. Well, but we got to do it. There, a Motel 6 forgot to leave the light on for him. So Aww. I can understand he'd be groggy. But you, That's rough. You it. have to give him a break. got to give him a break. Look, we've seen him drinking the fluids of elephant feces, his own urine, even for hydration. He does. It. Yeah, he actually he doesn't does. have to do it. And I don't remember seeing TV's highest paid star, Charlie Sheen, doing that on Two and a Half Men. Oh, Hello? We, huh, we both know that Charlie's done that plenty of times. True. Plenty. Very true. And he didn't have to either. No, he didn't. Just for sport. <laughs> All right, coming in at number one today, of course, the big release of Madden 08. Yes. It's okay to love it. It's okay to love it, even though it's a sports game. It's the uh, 18th installment of the EA franchise. Of course, it's by EA Sports. The early reviews, though, say it may be the best yet, and I think it needed to be. It's got a new branching animation system that lets you control more of the game, amps up the realism, and it doesn't lock you into the same old animations. You're not seeing the same canned stuff yeah. over and over again when you're playing. Now, the hardcore fans got their hands on the game at midnight yeah. and have been obsessing ever since. We even found a YouTube video that was shot at 2.32 <laughs> in the morning where someone found and documented the game's first known glitch. Let's take a look at this investigator examining Madden 08 like the Zapruder film. It's 2.37 in the morning. As you can see, the ball hasn't been hiked yet, but it's another ball in the field. As we play on, this Young starts running. And as you see, as the dude hit this Young, he hits the ball out on the floor. And the ball goes to his leg and moves. And that's the good issue. How old is he? He should be working on his, like, times tables, not, like, and analyzing not, Madden at 2.30 in the morning. He's a little Kevin Pereira. You know, when you were, like, eight, you had totally. your own company, and totally it was, was. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I have to say, around the office, all the guys are hyped up over Madden, but maybe the most passionate ones are in the jock squad, who we have live via satellite, guys. Yeah. Wow. Jock squad. How's it, it going, guys? What's up? Where, I know um, you guys are via, via satellite right now. Where are you, are you guys at? Are you just chilling in the dorm? Or is, yeah. This is, uh, this is my mom's house. Oh, cool. um, cool. yeah. Um, well, it's got some nice furniture. I'm wondering why you chose the lawn chair. I am not allowed to sit in it. No. Oh, and oh. Uh, hey, uh, what's that, uh, that poster behind you guys? Why is it blurred out? Maybe it's too kick-ass. Maybe you just can't see it. Oh, yeah, that's what it is, huh? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Can, well, can you, can you see it? Maybe with enough yeah. Matty Ice it gets unblurred. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's one of those Maybe. pictures. Well, you guys, we hear you're, uh, you're about uh, kicking ass on Xbox Live. That's what you're about. So uh, you're going to take on our viewers, someone said? Any of them that are man enough to get online oh. and play us. Oh, snap. Wow. Now, yeah. I mean, have you yeah, been workshopping the game? Did you get it early? Did you, did you pick it up at midnight? No, I don't need to practice. I got this. How you, right? have, you haven't practiced yet? No. Okay, so you don't know if there's any new features or anything cool about Madden 08? Well, all I know is it's... 60 frames per second, so it's going to be really pretty when I'm beating your lousy viewers to the ground. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Well, see, <laughs> so you guys, yeah, bro. That's, that's the challenge. Boy, they are fired up. That jock squad yeah, is ready right. to kill. Look at them. Yeah. Yeah. A testosterone is yeah. flying. Let's get it. Really get manly it. in your mom's house, guys. <laughs> All right. Now, the jock squad is currently waiting in a user-created lobby named AOTS. That stands for Attack of the Show. Yes. They're ready for a challenge. They'll accept the first challenge they get. So bring your oh, A game. I think they got a challenge already. <laughs> don't quit early, guys. Their Xbox Live gamer tag is Jock Squad. So send them a message. And remember, we're going to be checking in and seeing how you guys are doing. So you are you guys going to trash talk during the game? I mean, I, I, is it, you're only going to have one person playing. What are, they, are the other two there for moral support? Oh hell yeah! Yeah, yeah dude. hell yeah! Come on. We're yeah. all about this. You got some. Unfortunately, unfortunately, mics are for stupid noobs, so I don't have mine. But okay. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. All right, we're going to check in with the Jock Squad later and see if they get in the game. You think they're excited? It's going to be... I, I, look, can we check in one more time? Are, are you guys, guys excited? Feeling? I mean, really. Oh, oh hell yeah! Oh, it's going to clean oh, up here. Oh. Get him. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> for more virals, head over to g4tv.com slash around the net and sign up for the Around the Net oh, podcast. so much better in rehearsal. Uh, <laughs> what are you
wedding rehearsal. This is all live, real. That's the real Jock oh, Squad. Oh, right. Whoops. With the release of Madden 08 today, a lot of people are missing work with something we call the Madden flu. Yes, uh, yes. Now, this is a very serious yeah. illness. we gotta got to take it down a notch. But actually, there's, there's finally help for all those who might actually be infected. I try to be intimate with my wife, but I can't make the play. It doesn't matter what I do. He just isn't there. Can't fulfill my needs. Every year it hits me. I call in sick to work. I mean, forget about going out anywhere. August 8th, man. It's brutal. If you suffer from these effects, you might have Madden Fluenza or the Madden Flu. The Madden Flu affects frat boys. Frat boys who have graduated and now hold down jobs. Bing Gordon and rappers. But there's hope. Madden Alice, the little pill that stops your Madden cravings. Thanks to Madden Alice, I have my husband again. <laughs> and I get to wait till Saturday to play Madden 08. And I am a doctor. Talk to your doctor about Madden Alice. Madden Alice side effects may include going to work, long conversations with your wife about how her day went, less beer drinking, and anal leakage. Well, I mean, these days, what doesn't give you anal leakage? I mean, you'll be fine. Good, good point. Take it, you'll be fine. Very good point. It's a little poop. <laughs> oh, right now. It's time for the only news you need to know. Here's Layla Cayley and the feed headlines. Thanks, guys. Here's what's coming up in the feed. First, we'll tell you why Jon Stewart and Stephen Colbert have been dragged into the Viacom YouTube lawsuit. Plus, Nokia has admitted 46 million cell phone batteries could be faulty. And there's some brand new Guitar Hero songs to download, and you haven't played these before. It's all coming your way in just a few minutes. But first, back to you guys. All right, thanks, Layla. Now let's hear from you in the Army of Monitor Heads. It's our video viewer mail. Here's Matt from Michigan. I can't stand the idea of giving any more of my hard-earned money to Apple. What kind of MP3 player can I buy that matches the convenience and features of an iPod? Mm. All right, you have an iPod. I have an iPhone, which is also an, an iPod as well. You and I avoided, the, you jumped on. I avoided the iPod for the longest time because I was against it for many reasons. First of all, there were cheaper players that had more features like mm -hmm. FM radio, uh, voice recording, voice memo, yeah. line in, yada, yada, so on and so forth. I avoided it. Plus, I didn't want to be locked into iTunes and, you know, DRM yeah. tracks. So. And now you're locked into Singular and iTunes. And well, now I'm locked tracks. into AT&T. That's true. But I don't buy most of my music on iTunes, so it's okay. Okay. I'm okay with that. And but I, with that said, And the iPhone will allow you to, to use other things besides just iTunes? Sure. Yeah, and like, regular yeah. MP3s. And, but and with now, that said... now you're part of mainstream, which is great. So congratulations, yeah, Totally Kevin. sold out. What's up, Apple? Woo! Well, okay. Um, if you guys are watching, uh, you know, Gadget Prawn, which I'm sure you do, um, we have the new... Uh, this is the new... Creative Zen. Yeah, Creative Zen. And you guys so. were chatting about this and won, won a ton of awards. I'm an iRiver guy myself. Their Clicks line is the highest rated MP3 player on CNET. But this, I mean, you can't go wrong with you. You love yeah. this when you guys were showing it off. Yeah, and it has a, it has a little screen. Um, Will obviously doesn't plug anything in, so it's not working right now. Right. Um, it's battery dead, but it has a little screen right here, too. But you can actually so it spike that. it from, like, yeah. six feet high, and it still, still go works. Go ahead and give it a try. I was hoping you were going to do it. And no, you do it. No, it's all right. All right. <laughs> Let's check in with the Jock Squad once again to see if they're, uh, they're playing a game yet, guys. Did you did you get a challenger? Oh, we're about, oh, we're about oh, to run these. Come oh, on, baby. Run these. Oh, Right before you ask, like, see, then they go back to normal when they think, do you know? <laughs> okay, guys, guys, the camera's back on you. Go. Woo! All right, now the kickoff is coming. Woo! All right, who are we playing against? I, I, don't, I don't know if we're allowed to say someone's gamer tag, are we? Yeah. Woo! Jock Squad, who are we playing against? Do we know who, who, who joined the match? We got, uh, let's see. Okay. All right, keep running. Keep running. Oh, keep keep running. Oh, my Lord. Jock Squad. Oh. Oh, wow. I think Kevin's distracting us. Getting, well. I'm getting a little distracted. You know what? By all these a, a real, a real right jock now. doesn't get distracted. Oh. You just play. But look at look at the blazing fast connection here in the 14 4 modem that we have. The, the kickoff just stuttering like that. That's awesome. All right, Jock Squad. I'm glad you guys are still fired up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah brother. Yeah, yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Bro. Bro. Yes, bro. Bro. All right. We'll check in with you guys throughout the show and see how you're doing, I guess. All right, guys. No, don't stop. go anywhere. Just stop. A live jack of the show is just warming up, obviously, and we have lots more ahead, so stay with us if, you know what, I don't even know if it's going to be good for it's you. It's great. Come on, you love it. Here's what's coming up on today's Attack of the Show. Can Madden 08 improve upon its predecessor's shortcomings? It's your voice in the loop feedback. Plus, we're sorting through our collection with Edge Magazine and choosing the 100 best video games of all time on Olivia's Rack. 
You talking to me? Actually, we're talking about the killer new collector's edition of Taxi Driver on TV Tuesday. But well, I'm the only one here. It's better than your grandma's home cooking when the attack comes back. Hey, Kev. Hey, Olivia. I was wondering, what do you guys think is the worst video game-based movie ever? Oh, mm. there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Um, well, DOA came out recently. had a lot of hot girls in it, but... But it had watch. a lot of hot girls in it, so I'm going to let it slide. Yeah, I know someone who was in it, and I watched it. See, it some was... people go, Super Mario Brothers was terrible, The Wizard was terrible, Doom was terrible. Those, I thought, were okay. I, liked I think you go to, like, House of the Dead, which can barely even qualify as yeah. a video game movie, other than the fact that they showed, like, arcade game footage <laughs> randomly throughout what, the movie to justify it as a video game movie. I don't how people make it so difficult to make, you know, it's, you know, great movies out there. It's great because, games. you know, there's some cigar-chomping bigwig who goes, oh, the kids love this game. They're going to come out and see it. Here's a million dollars. Make it happen. A and million? Like, yeah, literally, it? that's it. And they go, okay, mm -hmm. we can shoot this on a budget. All right. So, well, anyway. Thanks for the question. Yeah, thank you, Clifford. And, uh, like, I don't know if it's your birthday or not. I was checking his MySpace, but <laughs> you're getting a present anyway. That's right. Everyone who has a video viewer mail in today's show will receive the new Doctor Strange DVD. It's in stores now, but Clifford just got it for free. Jealous? Send us questions. Right. Right now, it's time for the only news you need to know. Here it is in the feed. Thanks, guys. I'm Layla Kaylee, and it's time to start the feed. Comedians John Stewart and Stephen Colbert are getting dragged into the YouTube Viacom lawsuit. Last year, Viacom, the company that owns both The Daily Show and The Colbert Report, began suing YouTube owner Google for $1 billion because Viacom claims that YouTube encourages piracy of copyrighted materials. Now, lawyers for YouTube want to depose both comedians in court. Interestingly, until Viacom pulled them, clips from Stewart's Daily Show and The Colbert Report were among the most watched clips on YouTube. How ironic. If you own a Nokia phone, we may have some bad news for you. Nokia has announced that up to 46 million of its cell phone batteries may run the risk of overheating. Over 100 cases of the batteries known as the BL5C overheating have been reported, though thankfully no one has been hurt. While Nokia did not issue a recall, customers can request a replacement for any of the affected batteries, which is probably easier than playing hot potato with your cell phone. After some tweaks, Fujitsu has finally unveiled their new handheld tablet PC, the Lifebook U810, which is set to ship September 18th, comes stacked with features besides 40 gigs of space and a gig of RAM. The device also has a fingerprint scanner, Bluetooth, an integrated camera, Windows Vista, and gives you five and a half hours of use per charge. This notebook slash tablet slash handheld will only set you back $999. Ooh la la. Matt Damon and Ben Affleck have Oscars, successful acting careers, and now an MMO news service. Their production company, Life Planet, has just launched Virtual World Productions, which promises to bring you the latest news from two of the net's most popular games. Grid World News will report on the latest happenings within Second Life, and Azeroth World News will investigate the world of Warcraft. I'm sure it will be just as factual and unbiased as the real news. And finally, dust off those axes, Guitar Hero 2 has finally added some new tracks for download, yes! For 500 Microsoft points, you can pick up three My Chemical Romance songs, Teenagers, Famous Last Words, and This Is How I Disappear. Past 360 song packs have been heavily criticized by gamers due to the price and the fact that all the songs were simply ported from the first game. Hopefully, this is a sign that that trend is over. Well, that's it for today, but don't worry, the feed doesn't stop here. Stay tuned to G4 all day and look for the feed ticker at the bottom of your screen. We'll have all the news you need to know as it happens. I'm Leila Kaylee, and you've just been fed. Back to you guys. Does. Hey guys, uh, thanks, uh, Layla. It's a big day for football fans, so let's check back in with the Jock Squad. Yeah, they're playing Madden Woo! 08 right oh, now. Yeah. Yeah, Testosterone yeah. flying through the air. Guys, Gross, is a oh, 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 I don't know about this. You guys, what, what's the score? What's going on? It, it's 0-0 zero, zero right now. So what are you my talking boys, so much crap about? Uh, my boys quit on me a little bit. That's why I got no score right now. But okay, but how do you feel about the game? Like, is it smoother? Is it better? Any, any it, indication? It's a lot smoother. 60 frames per second makes a big difference, is it, I think. Would you think Hell it's better yeah. graphics? Yeah, Does it look prettier? 
the play. Oh hell yeah! This year oh, the players yeah. actually look like the player Bro, from the really? NFL, Bro. not like Bro. last year. They were all so. Michael Vick has some dogs next. Yeah, are there any dog fighting mini games or uh, you get an it's achievement? A, it's a halftime dog fight. Oh, oh, oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah, oh, baby! I'm talking about Thirty right there. yards. Research. All right. I, I smell the end zone. Yeah, we'll I get back it. to those guys in a second. Now, uh, we didn't come down with Madam Flu today, so no. do the right thing and stick around. Move the chain, boys. We'll be right back in just a few minutes. Stick him. Can Madden 08 improve upon its predecessor's shortcomings? He's under pressure. It's your voice in the loop feedback. Plus, we're getting down with the wild boys of Superbad in Olivia's Rack. The Feed is brought to you by Break.com. Great flicks, hot chicks, cool picks. Hey guys, welcome back. We are live on August 14th and happy birthday to Daisuke Ishiwatari, creator of the Guilty Gear series. So let's go over Kevin who's ready to engage in some verbal combat. Yeah, happy birthday, buddy. Now, who needs a panel of experts when you've got a bunch of know-it-alls? That's right. Today, we're talking with you, the viewers, about the week's biggest stories. It's The Loop, feedback style. Look at that lightning. That's, that's awesome. All right, my guests tonight, all Attack of the Show fans, they actually exist. Javon McNeil is here. Chris Dingle joins us. And Kyle Hemens is here as well. Welcome to The Loop, everybody. Let's get into it now. It might not be the, uh, the, attention, uh, the attention getter that Harry Potter is. Let's just say that. But yeah. Madden 08 was released this morning at 12.01 a.m. Obviously, yeah. some people are wooing. Now, EA reports that they've already sold 500,000 copies. It's getting great reviews. I some are one. saying it's the best. Javon, let's start with you. Madden 08, is this a must-have game? Yes, this is a must-have game. The gameplay, a step up above from last year. So you got the new icons. You had the hammer that tells you if you got a power heater, and then you also got the lightning to tell if your player is fast enough. And you can see them all the way down on the screen. So gameplay-wise and mechanics, everything's great. Chris, you wooed loudly while I was still introducing the topic. 364 I mean, you must be days of waiting, and I finally have it. Really? And and how did, how did, how did, if Javon like, wants to play, we can get online, and I'll beat him from LA. Hey, Chris, hey, Chris I'm down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whenever you want to do this, let's do it, man. All right, you guys can match make on, on Xbox Live. Right now, I want to know how you think uh, the, the 360 version stacks up against the PS3, Chris. Well, it's a lot better, actually. The gameplay is just better. And that's what I've been waiting for no, since 2005. No, it's, Forget it's the bells the and whistles, it's man. all about the gameplay. All right, Javon, why, why do you disagree? I disagree. I mean, you, it's cool, 60 frames per second, per second. You know, you got the Xbox. It runs a little smooth there and everything. But, you know, I'm a diehard Sony boy, so I got to go with my Sony, man. Yeah, per personally, who needs, who needs I rumble? Personally, I could care less about uh, which system I'm going to play it on. I'm going to play Madden. I'm a, I'm a frat guy. You know, Madden is Madden. But what I'm more interested to see is how it stacks up with the, uh, the Madden curse. You've had Michael Vick on the cover. You've had Donovan McNabb. Seasons later, we see what's happening to Mike Vick. Vince Young's going to be the one to break the spell. Come on. Well, we already <laughs> know what Michael Vick's curse is, and that was the whole dogfighting ring. So that was his Madden's curse. <laughs> Understandable. At least he didn't get hurt on the field, I guess, right? Uh, yeah, Chris, sure. what, <laughs> Kyle, what about the rings, though? I mean, I know you're not a player, but wouldn't you like to have your very own championship ring? I mean... That's an incentive to be a top Madden player, right? I, I got to say, if ring. I did make it to a ring, which uh, we'll see about that, I don't think I'm going to pay for one. I, I bought a high school ring. I bought a college ring. I wore them for a month. Yeah, but, but yeah, chicks at a bar are not going to be impressed with your high school me. ring. They're not going to be impressed know that you... with my Madden 08 ring. I mean, uh, if I'm at a bar and a girl's asking me about that ring and I say it's for playing a video game, Precisely. Well, All right. Let's right. move on to YouTube. We got to switch topics. I got to talk about YouTube because they want to question John Stewart and Stephen Colbert as part of a defense against its claims that it illegally airs snippets and of uh, of sports and entertainment videos. Chris, let me start with you. I mean, does YouTube even have a case for wanting to question a guy like Stewart or a guy like Colbert? I think the whole thing's ridiculous. The only way, the reason they're subpoenaing him is because the lawyers want to meet Colbert. You think that's it? I do. I mean, to be honest, Viacom needs YouTube. It's the, it's the only platform really to get out to the youth and to get out to people. And it's a catch-22. They want to get paid for it, but they all want to be on there. Colbert is even well, Viacom should be happy to because put on YouTube. YouTube. What's that, Javon? Guy? Viacom should be happy because, I mean, YouTube is getting out to, like, uh, Sean said, uh, Chris said, excuse me, is getting out to all the viewers out there. So you got the thousands and millions of hits every day because people want to see funny videos. They should be happy. You know, their ratings will go up and people's like, hey, this is a great show. 
Kyle, so, wait, Kyle's yeah. shaking his head here. You disagree? No, I just think it's a, another one of those ridiculous cases that we're not going to hear settlement for till like 2008, 2009. It's going to go on forever. You take Colbert off of YouTube, and I, all I've got left is I love Turtles and Dance Man. <laughs> It'd all be worth it to see Colbert in court. That would be hilarious. Well, you also got shirts on and shirt off. Don't forget about that. <laughs> yeah, I can't forget about that. And I'd love to see Tay Zonday on the stand myself. But let's talk <laughs> about summer great. movies for a second yeah. because we've been talking about the fact that, you know, hey, there, there were some good ones. We started off with, well, some say Spider-Man was a good one. We had Pirates as Boo. well. We ended with Boo. Born and Stardust, though. So, Kyle, what was your favorite? I'm going to have to go with Stardust. There's a big fan of Princess Whoa, Bride. Okay. Hey, wow. Kyle, you're going Hold on, now give the, the 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 give the man his say. Siobhan, Chris, give the man his say. If he likes Stardust, let him sparkle. Kyle, I'm, just, okay. I'm sure he does. I'm just saying, okay, you've got action, you've got adventure, you've got romance. It's every movie from the summer stacked up minus robots. And you saw it, though. You also got oh, action yeah. and adventure in the Bratz movie, Kyle. So if you want to go see that, I would buy a ticket for you. <laughs> Only if you'll go with me. <laughs> Chris, what about you? you? I'll hold you your hand, too, film? if you want me to, man. My movie of the summer was Born. I went to see it with my girlfriend. She loved it. Personally, I thought it sucked. If you haven't seen the first two, you'll enjoy this one. But the fighting scenes in this one were just, which was the whole movie, they were all over the place. You couldn't see anything. It, was, it made me dizzy. Well, that's because it's like shaky cam, you know? What right. do you Too do much shaky, shaky cam. cam. Now, now, all right, Javon, do you think Kyle and Chris are right, or did you have a, a different favorite? Javon secretly well, saw was... Stardust. No, I didn't see Stardust. <laughs> I saw Transformers. I mean, because you had the big trilogy... You had your Shrek 3, your Spider-Man 3, and your Pirates 3, and Transformers just came in like a sneaky ninja with a knife and just stabbed them. <laughs> you know, it just came out of nowhere, and it had great came action all the way through. How, I, I gotta give it say up Transformers, Transformers came out of nowhere. It's Michael Bay. It's, you know, one of the biggest directors we got uh, with Bad Boys 2, with Armageddon, huge director, and he's doing Transformers. I don't know. Harbor, Shia LaBeouf you know? gets on my nerves. All right, fair enough. Kyle, uh, very quickly. Did a great job. In, uh, Don't hate on the Shia. Final Don't word goes to Kyle Shia. very quickly, guys. Who's going to win the Mad and Match between Javon and Chris when we follow up in a week? Oh, come on. You know, LA. No, this is for Kyle. Javon. He's going to win maker. all the way. We all know it. <laughs> I'm going to say Chris. All right, thank Don, you. Javon, all you're right. on notice, but I want to thank you all for joining us. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. Thanks for keeping us in the loop. Shia LaBeouf is an angel, and you know it. All right, you guys, we've got a good thing going here. We entertain you. You know, just watch. It's easy. We'll be back in just a minute with lots more of. You know, stuff that Shia LaBeouf would really like. From Madden to Metroid, it's this week's top gaming releases in Attack This. And we're bringing you an inside look at the man behind Facebook on Olivia's Rack. Any superpower, I'd want to fly. It would probably be telekinesis. You can move stuff with your mind. No end to that power. My superpower would be laser beams that shoot out of my nipples that destroy viral marketing sites. Hey, everybody, welcome back to TV's only source for all the stuff you care about. We are live, so don't screw up because everyone's going to notice. I won't screw up. I was just, I was telling the audience not to. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, voting for G4's American Ninja Challenge has ended. Let's slouch a bit and take a look at the hottest video games being released this week. It's time to attack this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Madden is back and on every platform imaginable. We all know that from year to year, the Madden franchise gets a roster update and a few new features. But let's face it, the last two years weren't up to snuff. With a focus on the fundamentals, this year's Madden is greatly improved over previous editions. The Xbox 360 version runs at a blazing 60 frames per second, and players have more control over fluid in-game animations while reaching for their goal line. In fact, the new animation system allows for mid-air collisions, daring catches, and massive hits using the updated Hit Stick 2.0. Sorry, PS3 users, you're still stuck at 30 frames a second, so your experience probably won't be quite as mind-blowing. Next up, we have Heroes of Mana for the DS. In the game, you enter a fantasy world and take the role of a hero who has been shot down in combat, and he finds himself behind enemy lines. Joining forces with your comrades, you fight your way back to safety. Not exactly the most detailed real-time strategy of all time. This release is more for the casual gamer, but it still gets you that RTS fix. We do wish that the Wi-Fi connectivity did more than just download new maps. Where's the head-to-head, -head, guys? Next up, we have Luminous Arc. The real-time strategy game plays a lot like Final Fantasy Tactics and most other RTS games on the Nintendo DS. 
players will discover that when they launch successful attacks, their flash drive gauge will fill up. Now, once full, they can unleash devastating special attacks and there's no stopping them. Unlike Heroes of Mana, this game does have an online multiplayer battle mode. And to keep the stakes high, you can wager all of the magical items you collected along the way. Finally, we have Metroid for the Wii Virtual Console. Back in the day, Metroid was the coolest, and things haven't changed a bit. Originally launched 20 years ago this month, it was one of the first non-linear games ever to hit the market. Part action adventure game, part platform shooter, the title was revolutionary for its time, and I gotta say, it's still a lot of fun today. Oh, and by the way, at the end, after you beat it, the dude takes off his helmet to reveal he's a girl. I love it. Head on over to g4tv.com slash AOTS for info on all these games and more. You guys, make sure you stick around to the end. Maybe Kevin will, will pull, a, pull a famous. You never know. We're taking aim at Edge Magazine's picks for the 100 best video games of all time on Olivia's Rack. And... What are we doing? Let's just do the show. We're dancing. Welcome back to the show. We're live and look, we're ready to fulfill all of your needs. Which is why uh, I'll just stop the talking and get to the goods. And by goods, hey. I mean Olivia's rack. First up on my rack, it is Edge and their special issue looking at the 100 best video games ever. You can trust these guys because they're British and the accent makes them sound smarter. Well, makes some people sound smarter. Starting off the countdown at number 100 is the sandbox title Crackdown. Coming in at number 7 is the all-time favorite no one could dispute, the first-person shooter Halo. Dispute, Kevin? No, you're good? Uh, no, it belongs on the list. I don't know about at its placement. At number 1, Edge gave the title to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. The collector's edition of Edge is a must-have for every gamer. Kevin, yeah. what do you think about Ocarina? Uh, I don't know that, I mean, look, phenomenal game, great game. I don't know uh -huh. if it's really the best game ever. And, like, the placement of some of these, like, GoldenEye, good game, but at 17, especially considering what was going on on the PC side of things involving shooters around the time that was released, I well, disagree. Do you have, okay, well, do you have a favorite all-time game? Um, no, I mean, it's tough, because if you want to put nostalgia into it, I go, like, a, a Quake World-type game. Yeah. But I think, sadly enough, like, Tetris is one of those games that, because it's still around, people still pay yeah. for it. It's been on every single console. It's probably the best game ever. Good. I'm glad you've admitted you, that you're a girl. Next up, this <laughs> week's Entertainment Weekly features Judd Apatow's latest irreverent foul mouth comedy, Super Bad. This issue features interviews with cast, take the magazine, cast members Michael Sarah and Jonah Hill, and of course, the it's Apatow himself. This article gives you a look <laughs> into pages. what is sure to be one of the funniest movies of the year, I think the funniest of the year. With a budget of only $18 million, the film lacks big name talent. But, of course, Apatow is the big name here. He is the star. He's quickly becoming the top name in comedy, and he is, he isn't showing really any signs of stopping. Um, yeah. we, I know. think this, uh, you've seen it, so you tell me. Oh, I think I this it. will make Sarah big name talent. Like, I think this will finally blow him up and give him the respect. Well, you know, I actually interviewed him yeah. uh, for Arrested Development, because we have that on our, on our network here. And uh, the guy is phenomenal. He's, he's brilliant, and I don't think he's he gets enough credit for being as but good you know as he what? is. Because he plays that kind of awkward, kind of straight character, which is actually really hard to do. He's so good. Once you see this movie, I mean, and you just like the guy. You're going to so see much, it again? I'm going to see it again this weekend. Nice. You're going to see it? Um, I'm totally It's there. definitely a movie you have to see twice. It's so good. And Michael's amazing. Um, That's pretty good, too, though, what you got in your hands This right is there. pretty good. Really Nothing good. says martial arts better than this favorite, Kung Fu Tai Chi. Everyone's, uh, you know, favorite Kung Fu hero, Lou Reed. Oh, God, love him. Right? That, that's him. Uh, it's the former Velvet Underground rocker and recovering heroin addict. He's found a way to explore his power with Kung Fu Tai Chi's take on urban zen, which is Eastern philosophy mixed with Western medicine. Check out this feature where Reed gives his take on his ability to fly through the air with the wind in his hair. Wow. That's Kung Fu Tai Chi. <laughs> Sounds like an L.A. Looks tagline yeah. from a commercial right? from 87. But I, <laughs> here's the thing. like, No disrespect to anybody who does the martial arts, but okay. after watching like mixed martial artists do their thing, it's such a refined style, and then you look at a diagram like this, and like, can you hold it? Are you going to do it? Yes, well, I mean, here's the thing. Uh, okay, can you guys see? Can I'll give you, you one of them. So you can see what he's I'll give you one do. of them. How about the rooster? How about, we, how about we perform the rooster? The rooster. When is this move <laughs> ever really going to help me in a fight? Wait, can you do all three? I'd like you to go snake, rooster, point to earth. We have snake. Snake. To the rooster. Rooster. And the point to earth. Wait, right, point to earth is like this. Oh, I'm sorry. That, that would have totally won me against Chuck Liddell. <laughs> Can, could you beat Jock Squad now? Yeah. Come on, Ortiz. Come I'm going to point to earth. Bring it. And that's my rack. It's useful. It's useful and for, for really all the bathroom reading material you'll ever need. 
and of course more. Go to G4TV.com slash AOTS for all this. Now, unfortunately, I'm sorry, Kevin's junk. It's it's not a segment yet, but we should really work on it during the break. All right. In fact, I what would you, what would you a cocktail have on it? Junk. <laughs> Just hang. Coming up, we all know monkeys. Spin me over, kiss my ass, and hand wash the private. Better than South Park, Code Monkeys rules. And even the New York Times says it's like an arcade game with potty mouth. You're being sexy, stud. This summer's most outrageous new comedy, Code Monkeys. Wednesday night at 9, only on G4. For you, Captain Smee. The show of solidarity right there. Snake taps for life. Brother. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Let's check in one last time All with right. the Jock Squad. They've been playing Madden yeah, 08 yeah, online. Bro. Yeah. Whooping. Yeah. Guys, What's up, bro? Guys, how did, how did it go? How, what's the final score? So I'm winning 21 to 14 against Can't Feel My Face 7. Wow. Yeah. He's a chump. Did he not feel your, your cleat in his face? Nothing. No. He was running over him. All right. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. I how about like a beer chug? How about we kick chug. this thing off? Go to uh, g4tv.com slash AOTS for all things you guys saw today and more. Can you go faster than the beer chug? It's a beer chug, not a beer We'll see you guys lap. later. Yeah, control. Whoa. Good night, everybody. <laughs>